Polly or not, we have been conditioned to adopt these toxic behaviors. And we must do the internal work to uncover these behaviors and release them. Hola a todos, what's up? It's your girl Sekhmet Divine, aka The Brown Yogi. Welcome to today's video. Today we are talking about my path to becoming polyamorous. I'm 23 years old and if labels are important to you, I'm bisexual and polyamorous. I've been poly for about two years now. Before telling you about that, I think it's important to go back in time a little bit, especially the relationship I had previously before my current relationship. We'll call this person Mr. C. We dated for about one year before we decided to move in with each other. Right before I moved in with him, I began to have some worries, some doubts about our relationship, especially because it felt like maybe we were moving a little bit too fast for us being so young. We were only about 20 at the time. I learned about being polyamorous at that point and I had written literally a whole thesis and essay to him explaining about how it would be great for us and how we can choose how our poly relationship would work and everything and make sure that it would be perfect for us. But he really, really did not want that. I thought I could get over it and I told him that we can move on but I couldn't. We started having foundational issues after we moved in with each other and it just made me want to be Polly even more. I ended up starting to talk to people behind his back, cheating. And it was unfortunately not the first time I've ever cheated in a relationship with someone. He found out and it hurt him a lot. He told me he could get over it, but I ended up finding out months later that he held onto a resentment towards me. Months ended up passing and eventually I just became so unhappy that I moved out. I moved back into my hometown. At that time, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to be with anyone else. I really wanted to analyze what went wrong and what I could do better from that relationship. It was at that time that my current partner actually approached me about dating. I felt nervous for several reasons, but one of the things that kept coming up was that I still really wanted to be poly. I knew then that I was at a crossroads. I had already been through a relationship where I said no to being poly and it didn't work out. And now I had someone who I wasn't sure if they were going to accept me being poly, but I knew I had to speak up. I needed to speak for what I really wanted because no one else is going to give it to me. So I need to speak up. So. Even though I was scared of rejection and losing a very important friendship to me, I needed to tell him the truth. I wanted to explore being poly. I didn't know if I was going to be poly for the rest of my life, but I knew at that time that it was something that kept coming up in my head. And so I knew I needed to give myself at least the chance to explore it. To my surprise, he was actually fine with it. He didn't seek to control me or my body or how I choose to live my life. And at this point, we've been together now for two years. Being poly and spiritual has made me confront a lot of toxic behaviors that I had internalized. These toxic behaviors came from monogamy and they are so normalized that people think it's okay and it doesn't seem to many people that these behaviors are toxic when in reality they are. Things like excessive jealousy, possessiveness, extreme attachment to someone. It's also made me confront my own insecurities, my anger, lashing out at people, a lot of things that were results from trauma throughout my life. Essentially, it's been a very big part of my shadow work journey these past two years. Poly or not, we have been conditioned to adopt these toxic behaviors, and we must do the internal work to uncover these behaviors and release them so that we can actually vibe at the frequency of love, unconditional love, which seeks not to control or manipulate anyone, but to accept, cherish, and strive for balance. I wanted to make this video because a lot of people in the poly community get so upset when people share their personal journeys as if people who are poly can't be anything but perfect. It doesn't leave much room for people who are learning and feeling their way through experiences. And that's just not fair because people poly differently. And we've all, like I said, been in this toxic monogamy. How can we expect people who have been forced to adopt monogamy? Many of us didn't even know that there was another option. 
And so I'm not saying it's okay for people to just haphazardly go into polyamory and not know anything about themselves or how to relate to people in positive, healthy ways. But it's essentially me saying we can just try our best to be kind and to be open and to say how we truly feel and to not cover it up because we think another person might not accept us. It's an understanding that even if you have one relationship or multiple relationships, the relationship that is most important in our lives is the one we have with ourselves. So let me know down below. Do you guys think you would be Polly? Would you not? Why or why not? Until next time. Namaste.